Hey what's going on guys, Fusion here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the new Titan PC from VRLA Tech, and if you guys enjoy this review, consider leaving a like down below and let's get right into it. I purchased this PC for around $1300 in January, but since then it has jumped up to around $1800 because of the shortage of graphics cards lately, but I still wanted to review it for anyone who wants to buy this PC or anyone who wants to take a look at it first or get some sort of an idea. So that is why I'm doing this review, but anyways, let's get right into this. So the first thing you see when you look into this PC is the two RAM sticks and the CPU. It comes with 16 gigs of RAM, and then we also have this one fan in the back. Now I'm going to take a pause here. The fans, they only come with two fans when you buy them on the website, but you can add more for an additional price. I want to turn this into some sort of a custom PC. That's why I only went with two fans. But moving on, we have one fan in the front and then we have the graphics card. Now as far as the graphics card goes, they give you a random branded graphics card. You might get a better one, you might get one that doesn't look as great. It's kind of just luck. They gave me the one that I exactly wanted, which was the EVGA GeForce RTX 3070. And this was the version with three fans, so that was really cool. And they also included a 650 watt power supply. And if you look at the top here, we got three USB ports. There's also extras in the back. And then we also have the vent cover for the fans. And then looking in the front here, it's just pretty blank, just glass. And there's an RGB strip in the front, which I'll show you in a second. But turning the PC on, there is not very much RGB other than the graphics card and the fan. Not every graphics card has RGB, but mine ended up coming with it, which is really nice. And the CPU cooler has RGB, which you can change the colors to pretty much any color you want. And then in the front, there's also an RGB strip, which is also really nice. They did very good with cable management on this PC. They were able to make it look as clean, as minimalistic as possible. Now I'm going to hop on Fortnite and give you guys an FPS benchmark. If there's any other games you guys want to see, leave them down below and I might make another video on this. But anyways, let's hop right on Fortnite. Alrighty guys, so on Fortnite right now on all low settings, 100% 3D resolution, we are getting around 470 80 FPS. And if we go down to medium settings, 100%, we're getting around still around 430 fps in the game and then let's change this to high we're also getting 330 fps it looks like and then epic is probably gonna be a little choppy i don't know but epic we're still running around 260 and it is frame dropping a lot though so probably 180 to 240 fps and that is the benchmarks, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you click that like button, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.